everybody welcome to a another episode from frog lane studio so here we're going to be looking at painting faces in particular this one right here so i've got a setup here now we're going to be trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys so i'm actually only going to be using five colors on this now the two start off colors is abaddon black and corax white these two in particular are for the eyes. Next up for the skin itself, we've got Mournfang Brown, Kislev Fresh and Screaming Skull. Now, all those three are in chronological order. So we're going to be starting off with the Mournfang onto the Kislev and then the Screaming Skull afterwards. The key ingredient here very much so is airbrush thinner. Now, the reason why we're using airbrush thinner is because medium is going to be too thick in its viscosity and water is going to be too, too thin. Airbrush thinner sits bang smack in the middle of that and it's a really good tool for us to be using. So as you can see with this one already I've already put a layer of Mournfang brown on there. This is watered down past the consistency of milk you're wanting something that's really thin and fine. Once you've got that base coat of Mournfang, I've moved on to the Kislev Flesh here, and this yet again is watered down with that airbrush thinner. This is going to uh, allow us to put several, not two thin coats, but three or four. We're going to be gradually building up the colour up and over that Mournfang brown base. What we're looking for is to replicate what happens with the skin. You have those those shadows and then the highlights are built up and over that. We're still wanting to see the graduation of this colour going from the Mournfang brown through to the Kislev flesh. And so with that watered down consistency using the airbrush thinner, we have quite a lot of playtime with building up these brush strokes. We can really dial in and focus on the key areas that need highlighting. Now in terms of those key areas, it's the parts that are going to be hitting the sunlight first and foremost. So that's the areas around the chin that you can see me here painting. The nose as well. Just the top of the lips and then we move on to the cheekbones. And the cheekbones are the really prominent parts. The cheekbones and the eyebrows. These are the parts that we're going to be needing to make as light as possible. And so with this watered down consistency of the Kislev and the Mournfang Brown, we're able to just slowly apply those highlights and really gauge by eye as to which bit they need to come up more. So it's not just one or two thin coats, it is that consistent thin layered approach, five, six, seven, eight different coats of paint over the top of this model to produce this really smooth transition between the low lights of the deep recesses and the highlights and you'll see that throughout this video me just building up these layers As we get around the back here, uh, it's quite a nice point in the video. You can see the darkness of the Mournfang brown there, and then this layer of the Kislev flesh going up and over the top. And as I rotate the model in my fingers, you can see that layering starting to build up there. And Kislev is a perfect colour for uh, Caucasian skin, really. And so although the colour transition between the Mournfang and the, the Kislev is quite a stark one, with this glaze almost with the airbrush thinner, you're able to get those, those smooth transitions through. As we're moving through this, it's important to stay away from the eyes and also the lips as well. You can see here that I'm focusing mainly on the cheeks and as I'm adding these layers, 
I'm staying more and more away from the eyes and from, from the crevice of the nose and, and the mouth and concentrating more on the highlights. It's at this point now with the, uh, the skin almost done to then focus on the eyes. So with the Corax white here, I'm going in and doing the eyes. Now you focus on the corners of the eyes. You do the first corner closest to the nose and then switch over to do the one closest to the ear, turning the model at the same time so that the brush is drawn downwards horizontally across the model. And that way you're not going to get the blobs of white on the uh, on the eye socket or any other undesirable place. It's important here to use Corax white or the base colors on there. You don't want that white to be th too thin. You almost want a one and done approach with this. Once you've done the one eye then you can move across to the other. You'll notice there if you look closely on the eye that I'd already painted I've actually blobbed slightly over on the eyelid portion there. This is, this is okay, this is something that can get cleared up later on. And this is what I'm doing now. So I'm going back in with the watered down Mournfang Brown, or sorry, the airbrush thinned Mournfang Brown, and then using that to just go back in and re-establish the eye portions themselves, and also the, uh, the eyelid areas, just darkening underneath the eyes, so that the eyes themselves really pop out. And then going in and uh, just on the this chap has a scar, so the very recesses of the scar I'm going in with that Mournfang brown and also on the lips as well. And that just re-establishes those shadows that are in there, giving more of a 3D approach. Once I've finished with the skin and the eyes themselves, then I'm uh, just going in and tarting up the silver colours here. I, I think this is lead belcher that I'm using here. And just going in and... Uh, any of the black that I've got there, painting that up. There's a small lip where the silver meets the skin. We're going to be coming back in with that and edge highlighting that. But for the moment, once I'm fair, once I'm done with the darker silver, I'm switching over to the lighter silver here and just adding some some highlights there. Nothing too serious, but just to give uh, some 3D effects there, highlighting with the lighter coloured silver there. Once we've done that, I'm, I'm going back in again with the Mournfang brown now. So this is just where the skin meets the metal portion of the model. And around the sullen cheekbone area, I'm just adding a bit more shadow just into the inner ear area as well. And then just establishing the shadow portion where the skin meets that metal area. So all this is just using Kislev Flesh and Mournfang brown. At the moment, that Mournfang brown both portions mixed with airbrush thinner and just moving this around the the shadow portions there just slowly building those colors up and that color saturation point so once you're happy with how the model is looking and you've added all of the shadows that you need to on it. Then it's time to edge highlight. I missed out earlier when you're doing that Kislev flesh, you're just adding small amounts of uh, your bone color into the mix just to highlight it ever so slightly. So you're putting very subtle highlights into that skin area as well. Here I've realized that the the forehead was looking a tad bit too shiny, so yet again with the Mournfang Brown, just a thin layer of it, watered down, uh, well, airbrush thinned down, and just dulling that colour down. So after we've done that, here we go, this is the black lining that I was talking about, so I've got the, uh, got the Abaddon Black thinned down a lot with the airbrush uh, thinner again, and just going in and adding some black lining to the metal areas where the metal meets the skin and see here I make a small mistake there it is and just go into the uh, the cheek area and you can see how much that darkens it down quickly what I also missed out at this point as well I didn't manage to record it but um, 
I'd done the eyes at this point with uh, just a small tab of Abaddon Black. This here, what I'm doing here is yet again with uh, thinned down paint. This is Codex Grey and I'm using it just to apply like a fly five o'clock shadow underneath his cheek areas as if he's been in battle for a while and I don't know whether Space Marines shave or not but uh, this chap certainly does and he's not managed to shave for a couple of weeks. After that point now it's uh, time to go in with pure Kislev flesh here and what I'm doing is with the pure Kislev flesh this isn't watered down just ever so slightly applying those highlights to the eyebrow areas to the tip of the nose the tip of the chin just adding these hyper highlights in to really make the model pop and sell the effects of that that 3d detail that's ever so subtle on these on these gray models well the unpainted ones at least this whole process is really just about playing with the model and with those thin layers having thin layers having loads of control over how much paint you're putting onto the model going back and forth with the, the dark color of the Mornfang ground to lower the color and then the Kislev as the base flesh and the uh, bone color as your your highlight and really playing about with that until you have that medium and so there we have it the finished product here this is the captain that was a commission piece that I'd done um, for one of my Patreons. So this is the head on the model itself. I have to say it's one of the best painted heads that I've I've ever done to be honest. <laughs> it really does look lifelike. Thank you very much for uh, watching this. Let me know in the comments section if you've got any other tutorials that you'd like me to cover. Um, I'd just like to mention that if you have been finding the videos useful at all, then I do have a Patreon link below. Channel Patreons receive various benefits, uh, such as requesting tutorial content or hourly one-to-one -one hobby sessions with myself. And uh, the more subscribers that we have, the more giveaways we can do. So if any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support me keep on making these tutorials, then feel free to have a look at the link. So a massive thank you to all of my Patreons, Death Corpse Master, Eater of Cities, Full Circle, On Sanguinius, Jeans and a Shirt, Keith, Loco Dry Dog, MDH, Midget Gems, Mogsy, Mr. Tumnus, Not There But Trying, Original Sin, Past Seven Painting, Mr. and Mrs. Ritz and Bits, Mr. and Mrs. Monkey, Stephen 101, Sonoris, The Secret Paintbrush, and The Indomitable, Mrs. Frog. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and may your pots of paint never run out. Thank you and goodbye.